Thank you again, YouTube, for tuning in. This is going to be part two of the fuel injection cleaning of my Mazda 3. Please excuse the bad uh, ending to the other video, so I really apologize for that. So anyway, I'm back in my car. I just started it up. Um, I'm just going to give it a quick moment here before I pull out. So what I did is I bought, again, to repeat the process to look at the other video, I did buy that Seafoam fuel injection cleaner and popped off the cap, just dumped it into the gas tank, let it get all in there, and then you just add the gas on top of that. Um, my mechanic, again, recommended premium. So I did that, and he said just drive it like you normally do, and it should really uh, take care of all that gunk and nastiness in the uh, in injection ports and all that engine stuff. So uh, we're going to give it a little bit of a cruise right now to go a little bit back home. So again, my apologies for that. Um, I just uh, had some problems there with my credit card. I accidentally put the wrong zip code in too quick, so that was my mistake there. Alright, so let's head out of here. Put the new trip on here. Clear that out. Okay. Alright. New trip set on both A and B. Alright. Well, I just want to give a shout out to all of my current subscribers. I um, want to give out a shout out to one of my most frequent uh newer subscribers that just subscribed to me a couple weeks back and uh, I will mention you in the comments below so when I get home and I upload these videos I, I will and I know that you know who you are because one of the uh, subscribers recommended that I do a fuel injection cleaning on this car because I've never had one before with these many this many miles on it already and then I talked to my mechanic and he says, yeah, sure, go ahead and start the process. So he told me to do this fuel injection cleaning for the, uh, for the life of the vehicle. So that's what I plan to do and I want to make it uh, run and maintain the way that it should just like new. Just like anybody else that has high mileage cars that takes care of their car, it still runs like new. So I hope to be one of those. So, uh, basically, yes, yeah, so this is part two, again. Um, just want to thank you guys for those that have continued to watch my videos. Um, I am excited to see where the channel is going to go from here. And I definitely do plan to invest, hopefully sooner than later, hopefully invest in a GoPro. Um, I'm excited about that. I really want to just because I think that will enhance the videos a lot better, give it better quality and, you know, just an overall better look with the cameras and everything. So I'm excited about that, so stay tuned for that to the future. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are having a good start to your week so far, and to anybody out there that has high mileage cars, um, thumbs up to you guys. Keep doing what you do with your cars. And keep up with your maintenance. Don't don't lag. Don't fall behind on your maintenance because you know then that's what's going to end up ruining your car. And uh, just yeah, definitely uh, share your tips and tricks and whatnot to those that want to be car car people. You know, just take care of your cars. Just like anything, you know, you take care of it, it'll take care of you. It'll be worth worth your while and worth your, your investment and time and money into it. So, um, yeah, kudos to anybody that has high mileage. And uh, if you are interested, like I said, I bought this at my local AutoZone. You can go to any auto parts store and buy it. Um, basically, my mechanic said the higher cost, you know, is going to be a little bit better quality. But AutoZone recommended Seafoam. I know Seafoam is a really popular good product so if you want to use that go ahead um, but yeah I will update you as the car goes along with
with the process every time I throw a new seafoam in there, I'm hoping to get better uh, quality out of the engine, you know, and better performance. So yeah, hopefully that works, and it, it definitely should with what I've talked to my mechanic about. So again, thank you guys for watching on these videos that I posted, and again, my apologies for that initial video ending on a bad note there, I just had some issues there. So thank you, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a notification in the comment section down below if you enjoyed the video, if it's helpful to you, and if you plan on doing this uh, fuel injection cleaning for your car, let me know, and uh, what tips and tricks have you used in the past, whether you're using now, what was good for you, let me know. Thank you. Appreciate that. Have a good day, guys.